Hi there everyone, this is Jim from Just Push Play, Ottawa's video game web show, and today I'm at Funhaven with Toys on Fire. We are uh, doing the first ever Pokemon card game tournament, and I'm lucky that I'm with someone that's very good at Pokemon today, and your name, Miss? Uh, Tiffany. Awesome. So Tiffany, what got you into Pokemon? Well, it actually all started in February when my son was playing, right. and um, at the at first, I was hesitant to play because I knew that um, I'm I love skilled based games, right. so I just didn't want to be addicted to it. So yeah. then, um, so what happened was my my husband started training my son, right. and um, next thing I know, I was helping him train, and I liked it, and that's yeah. how it all started. And it was a lot of fun. That's probably what yes. got you into it. Yes, definitely. It started helping with my son, and then it was fun. I love the community, the people that we meet here. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's very nice and kind and open, and I think that helps a lot. It most definitely does. So do you play the video games as well, or is that the next step? Oh, definitely not the video game. <laughs> um, I really like the card game because um, it just makes me have... Um, I'm not sure, I just, I never grew up with video games, so it's not something that I would enter into. Yeah. But with card games, I like it because it's like strategic and it's skill based, also luck based too. But um, you just have to learn how to play your opponent and you never know. So, so as you said, you never know, you might play the Pokemon video games, yeah. maybe. <laughs> it, they cost a bit more probably, but... Um, so you said you don't really play video games. Uh, do you play video games at all, or just you know maybe, maybe down the line? Um, actually, not at all. Oh. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> so uh, if I ever do play Pokemon video game, that will be a big surprise for me. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I was going to ask questions about video games, but now I I don't have question as many questions. Um, do you play any other card games, like other than Pokemon card games, or any other, you know, strategic games? You know, ah, I got a question. <laughs> um, I grew up playing chess, okay. and that's something that um, I've always loved. And so um, I play a lot of board games, okay. but not, not at, I haven't ventured into any other card games, just Pokemon right now. Okay. Yep. Have you heard of the Meeple's uh, Republic, actually? No, I haven't. They're uh, strong advocates of uh, board games and tabletop games in Ottawa. Um, just to give you a, a heads up, also a comic book shop downtown, they've got tons of board games. So if you love board games, you know, you can definitely check that out. So um, I'm sure they have far more knowledge about board games than I do. So I'm more the video game guy. So, um, so that's an idea for sure. Uh, any others that you want to recommend? You know, say someone hasn't played video games as well and, you know, may want to try a board game. Other than you know, other than chess, you know, a game. Any other games that you recommend? Since you have more, far more knowledge than a lot of people probably in that area, so. Well, I I really like Stratego and Risk. Um, I'm not really familiar with board games for younger children, so it's mostly for the older generations. Yeah. Well, name some that you enjoy. And maybe people can try it either at comic book shop downtown or you know, buy it from a store. So. <laughs> I think my two favorite is still Stratego and Risk. That's okay. like my two favorite. Yeah. Okay. If but I but if they haven't tried it, then it's a good start. That's okay. a good start. Yeah, that's definitely that's awesome. Uh, so uh, definitely, I think if if you want to see more events like these in Ottawa, you know, it's important that we all support them as they are right now, especially uh, and our video game, you know, video game companies that are based here in Ottawa. Uh, it's important to support them as well. So. Um, we just have to keep showing up at Toys on Fire and keep doing interviews and everything until, you know, big business recognizes that this is what we want, you know, in Ottawa here. So, um, any final, I don't want to take too much of your time and I talk too much, so that's why I'm perfect for this job. And, uh, any final words for, you know, Ottawa or Just Push Play viewers? Uh, you want to say hi to anyone or? Oh, um, well, I think that for anyone who's watching right now, um, just try to do, if you've never tried to play a card game or venture out to something that um, you might think that you might not enjoy, it's a good opportunity to take the risk and you never know. Whether it's video games or card games or board games, just take a leap of faith and you might find you'll love it.
That's great. I love that advice. You know, get out of your comfort zone. So Ottawa, everyone go down to the comic book shop. Go to Toys on Fire. Meet some awesome people. Everyone here has been super friendly. Um, you know, and that's why I do it this for free. Because it's awesome people in Ottawa. And, you know, they all deserve their own uh, time, you know, on camera. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, what's your favorite Pokemon card, actually, before we go? Um, I actually have two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Umbreon and Espeon. Okay. Yes. Yep. Are those worth a lot of money, or are they you know, just cool cards, or what, why do you choose those? <laughs> are they worth a lot of money? <laughs> well, uh, if you've been collecting for a long time, uh, there are some of the two that are worth a lot of money. Um, and because my husband collects, I am lucky to have them. But um, I've always thought they were a good pair, and that's what I like about them. Yep. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, this is Jim from Just Wish Play. Keep on gaming, guys. We're Ottawa's Video Game Web Show. Take care.